All right, folks, the deck is Miracle Tony Druid. The goal of the deck is to play Gadget Sound Auctioneer, followed by as many spells as possible, including Floops, Glorious Gloop, and Funnel Cake, so that we can ramp back up our mana, play a Tony King of Piracy after we empty our deck, so that we can then play Double Naturalize and Due Process to kill our opponent in fatigue. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle, or here on YouTube. Watch this! Watch your back. What? is this place? The good news is, I don't think a lot of people will have too much sympathy for the King's Main Road, right? Okay, this means we can go for low cost off of the mine. Is a minion that makes you immune on your turn, does that apply to the first draws? Yes. That's why Ice Block, or similar to why Ice Block doesn't go off when it, um, when you take fatigue damage. Get these out of the way where I can. <laughs> Technically, I'm in next turn, but I don't have a great hand. Especially if they don't develop and I and or I don't hit a floops gloop, so I'm not necessarily committed to going in here. We'll see if and how much they uh, progress the quest here. Might have to go. Okay. Yeah. Probably have to go if they have a prep. They have a prep, right? Hmm. Do I? damage. I've already waited too long. They would need a lot of burst. I've been burned by being impa or too patient before. Surely it won't happen again, right? They would need a lot of bounce effects. Or a lot more chargers. Love the feel of wind in me sails. I think it was the right call. Probably should have played that further. They get two deck hands, they can't dagger up anymore. Yeah. Did you wait for him? Uh, yeah, I did wait for the opponent, which might have been a mistake, but we'll see. I'll kick us down there. Ooh, so is this the one? This is probably more mana. Actually, is it? That was a, that was well a mistake. Met.
Jojij. Thank you for the uh, nine months. I think we could all benefit from now. Time to be fair. Is this place? I think the flip scoop is maybe important enough to keep, just because having it early on the combo turn is rather critical in a lot of spots. What happens if you play the opponent CTC? Can you choose the cards they chose? I don't remember. I think at one point it used to just give you nothing, but. Surely this won't backfire. Look, I'm just I'm just learning from all of the opponents that I've played against as Druid. And I'm just playing the green card. At least it's not aggro. Although they <laughs> They do know that their dirty ratters are rather reliable. Nice. Might just have to be next turn that we go in. But I no, I need like one more mana ramp. I'm seven minutes ahead of you. And a naturalize. Why would you choose that? What? That is ludicrous. They're sniping? If they're sniping, that's all the more reason to choose minions. More cards to burn, but um, also likely to give me more time to uh, draw towards my combo. The time has come uh -oh. to our Death by master. spider tank. To perfection. Is it just King's Bone? Yep. Alright, 
I just need an auctioneer to we're in. Just clowning around, you know? Waiting on our gadgets and an auctioneer. Rothel, I'm a kindergarten teacher this summer. Starting to think maybe I have done literally anything else. Thanks for the great content as always. Good god. Uh, good luck, game ovaries. Uh, thank you for the uh, 16 months. I do not envy you. Nor do I envy my position in this game. Theoretically, I could give up one naturalize. But there's some risk involved in that. Both in terms of the damage that I need to do and just giving the opponent more cards than they already have. To theoretically kill me. They need five damage. But not finding any one of our four copies of the auction room is pretty brutal. That was a lot of damage. Uh, not a great end, but, um... I mean, we've essentially got four copies of Gadget Zone Auctioneer, so as long as we're able to draw that, we'll be fine. Okay. I mean, they must have a follow-up if they're doing that, right? Like, Moonlight Guidance is extraordinarily valuable in Cthundroid in particular. So maybe they have a due process or something. Okay. Opponent playing the green card.
very nearly in already, so I don't think giving them an extra draw is as harmful as giving or er, as uh, me getting the extra draw. The downside is that I could need that for extra burst if they gain a lot of armor uh, in the near future. Alright, next turn it is. Uh, need to try and use the um, solar eclipses on the naturalize and or um, do process. And also need to find an early flip gloop. I can't hold too much longer. I can't like wait any longer than I already have just because like the risk of them gaining more armor is uh, concerning. Yeah. Time waits for no one. Oh, God, that's so much armor. I don't even know if I have enough damage to do that. But we'll certainly do our best. I got the best deal, Penny. I can see. I don't think I won. <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay. Well, we've got the Funnel Cakes uh, combo, at least. I just need the mana to get there. I see you brought guests. Okay. It's awkward. Nothing but a bunch of big bears! Is this the new Pillager? No. <laughs> it is not even the best combo deck that involves Funnel Cake. <laughs> Druid is for cheaters. Okay. <laughs> sure. You got me. Well met. Well met from Poland, Rothmet. Hey, thank you, uh, can you? For the, uh, two months. Appreciate that. I kind of need a bio project to get there. I don't my cards do anything. Yeah. Uh, it's a bummer to have to give this way, but I needed to test for that before I... Like, I'm forced to go in next turn just because my hand is full. Oh, wait. We got an early floops gloop? That's never happened before. Play both funnel kicks, yes. No, I haven't. But I don't really need to. So the one I want to burn. Only one. That rope's burning again. Where'd my dick go?
Alright, we have something to do in the early game at least. Got a lot of ramp. Probably just play this. So that we can find the auctioneer a little bit faster than we have been. This is a very good hand once we do have the auctioneer. If we can get, uh, again, the Living Ritz Funnel Kick going. It's fine. I just have to go in next turn. I've got enough innervates to probably get by. Seems like it'll be a good idea to do so. Problem is, it's going to be hard to get the seven mana. Ouch on one, mine on two. Shadowwalk Shaman should be fine. It kind of gives me a little bit of pause for... Well, I mean, if they play a, a Dirty Rat. Like, we should be able to play our Auctioneer before they can play a Mutanus. So if they play a Dirty Rat, that's just going to win me the game, right? Surely they wouldn't do a dirty rat on turn three, right? You win yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's totally fair. They do not have a great matchup there. Light makes right. What is this place? Good God! I thought the win rate for the uh, the APM pre stacks were bad. Could be a showdown between the two APM decks. I, I pray that it's Big Priest, though. That should be relatively free. It's 
Still doesn't really tell me much. It looks like Big Priest, but there's no guarantee. I think it's Big Priest, right? The the Mind Blast combo is probably not going to uh, use the Palm Reading, is it? I'm sorry, what? Still not sure what the deck was doing, but glad we got that wisp at the end. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Kali Alkali, Cathandrian, Lilu, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 